Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to review a fragrance that was released in the year 2013. It's actually a recent release. It was released on Black Friday weekend, so the late November, right after Thanksgiving, and it was marketed as such, kind of like, you know, let's get this fragrance out there and get people purchasing it on the day, the most shop day in the United States. And it is none other than, as you can see from the title, Gold by Jay-Z. Here is the bottle. I actually purchased the small one. It's This is the 1.0. And it comes to like four different sizes. It comes in like 1.0, 1.0, uh, 1.7, 3.4, uh, and there's a 90 milliliter as well there or something around that too. Anyways, this one's going to run you about $40, so 1.0 or 39. The 1.7, 55, and the 3.4, 70. I'm not sure how much the larger one is. Actually, I just saw the price listing for it, but uh, either way, I'm not. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the, however, there will be certain people do but either way uh, Jay-Z is actually an entertainer a very popular entertainer who has been around for a long while and he's you know had some other fragrances that are kind of marketed but uh, I've heard to the grapevine that this is so supposed to like real fragrance release or whatever you want to call it but either way uh, this fragrance at first glance does definitely seem to be a step up from some of his other fragrances though some of his other fragrances are actually uh, you know pretty good but either way Let's go ahead and get into the actual fragrance review. Now, again, I mentioned this fragrance was released in 2013. Here, here's the bottle. The bottles are all kind of designed the same. They're just, or really in size, is really just where you're kind of looking at. This is, uh, they're just bigger versions of this, basically. So there's no really design and change. The cap, I'm not sure if you can see it, but let's see if we can get that on here. The cap has writing on it. Uh, the writing on the top of the cap says stuff like, uh, it says gold, confidence, strength, power, success. Courage. It's got a bunch of writing basically on this cap, and that really is all there is to uh, the fragrance design. Now the feel of it, it feels kind of porcelain-ish. Uh, I'm sure it's just kind of the cover over a glass, but either way, uh, that's kind of the feel, the texture of the actual bottle. This is the box. It just has a standard box. It's just gold and Jay-Z basically. That's about it for it. Now, uh, the parfumé of this fragrance is Elias Aramidis. Uh, destroying that name. Sorry about that. She's done a couple, uh, the person has done a couple fragrance review or fragrances, uh, but none that are just, you know, like groundbreaking type of fragrances that I've seen there. Uh, but it's definitely worth checking out, uh, you know, some other fragrances that they've gone ahead and created. But it is, uh, you know, I wouldn't say a bad fragrance at all. But with that, let's go ahead and get into the notes for this fragrance. The notes consist of, at the top, we have ginger, grapefruit, blueberry, and cardamom. For our mid, we have vetiver, pink pepper, lavender, and violet leaf. And for our base, we have amber, teakwood, vanilla, and myrrh. Alright, so when you start off with this fragrance, what I'm immediately getting is, uh, and this is just my nose that I pick up immediately, it's kind of like this, uh, I would say a unique type of citrus smelling scent. I'm not sure whether it's to attribute it to the mix of fragrances or to the fact that I've never really smelled blueberry in a fragrance, but it does give it a, a unique type of a citrus tinge. Now that citrus tinge doesn't really last for that much as the spices really come up and the cardamom especially really comes up in this. Now it's not as uh, stinky of a cardamom as some other fragrances that I know, but it definitely is there, and that cardamom is going to re remain, that spiciness is going to remain through the fragrance throughout, uh, you know, the entire scent. As that kind of changes, and as it kind of goes away, it dries down, and the dry down actually occurs like 30 minutes into the fragrance, and just remains the same scent. But the dry down actually occurs, and gives it this amber, a little bit of vanilla type of a scent. Uh, overall, you're going to get a spicy scent with little hints of, you know, vanilla and amber that kind of come up in it. So, if I was to compare it to some other fragrances that I've smelled, it has aspects of some fragrances. So the sweetness of the fragrance sort of reminds me of One Million. Sort of reminds me of One Million. One Million is still a more powerful scent in terms of the sweetness, how it comes off. It really comes to the forefront. But this is a little bit more subdued, if you will. It also reminds me of, and I haven't seen this comparison in a while, but it reminds me of La Nuit de L'Homme a little bit too. It doesn't really have the full-on powderness that La Nuit has, but the way that La Nuit does its spiciness is really what I'm getting from Jay-Z Gold. And that really does make it appealing in how it's actually, whoop, in how it's actually coming off. Um, so those two fragrances are really what come to mind. And as a consequence, 
when I smelled it, I wasn't really thinking that this is a unique smell. I'm kind of thinking in my mind, wow, I've, 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 I've smelled scents that are like this. Not completely like this, but I've sent, smelled some scents that are like this. And it kind of feels like it's pulled from a couple of popular fragrances that are out there to create its own uh, type of a scent to it. So while the scent is very pleasant, it doesn't come off as very unique to me at all. Um, that said, if I were to smell this scent, and well, I actually still have it on, but if I were to smell this scent kind of just lying around, I, I wouldn't think that it was a celebrity scent. So for that, it kind of gets its, uh, I guess you could say, it gets a little bit more accolade uh, from the scent to it. It doesn't come off as a cheap celebrity scent, if you will. All right. Spray-wise, but there can be a little bit more to that, and I want to be very careful on how to explain it in the in going forward. Sprays to it, I go anywhere between three and five sprays, right? I go three and five sprays generally because one thing that I've noticed, it, it feels to be a little bit chameleon in terms of how it kind of comes off on your skin. And this, because of the spices, because of the cardamom, is another one that I highly suggest that you try on your skin first, see how it performs before you ever, you know, go out and blind buy this one. And the reason being, it reacts with my skin in a weird way. I've gotten, I would say, around six to eight hours worth of performance with it. But performance with it, after three hours maybe, I can't really smell it on me until I put my, you know, um, until I smell my skin directly. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Though other people have said that they could smell me, uh, just not heavily. So they would have to come up and smell me, and they couldn't really smell me as I'm just walking past or anything like that. So that's another thing to keep on with Jay-Z Gold. There may be some issues with, um, you know, projection, longevity, and stuff like that, or performance overall. Uh, so the longevity and the performance, I'm going to give around six to eight hours. Now, uh, as far as age group goes, age group, I say any age group can wear this. And this might actually be a good fragrance for the younger generation, younger guys that are kind of coming up. If you want something uh, that's not as heavy as your one million, if, uh, that's not as heavy as some of your more prominent fragrances but still smells good, definitely take a look at this one. Season-wise, I actually think this is very versatile. I, I season-wise and occasion-wise, I think it's very versatile. I think you can wear it to work. I think you can wear it um, as long as you, you know, be careful with the sprays. But you can wear it to work. You can wear it casually. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a date, just because I think it's a little bit too uh, subdued for a date fragrance. Definitely smells nice. Uh, they'll probably like it, but I think it's a little bit too subdued for a date fragrance. Uh, for season-wise, year-round, I think it's formulated such that it will perform well all year-round, but it might be a little bit better for the warmer months because I haven't found that it's been able to cut through the cold. Uh, again, it was just released in November, so I haven't really had a chance to fully on test it uh, you know, when it's warm out. I can only simulate situations that are kind of like in work. And even then, it looks like it's gonna be one of those fragrances that benefits a little bit more from the heat. Uh, so I would lean towards the heat, but I think you can really one, uh, wear this one all year round and get away with it perfectly fine, okay? so. What did some other people think of this? As with this, actually, I did this test really quick after I bought it. I bought this in Times Square um, and just went immediately out. I was like, all right, what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Had people going around right outside of the Sephora that's right in the middle of Times Square, right across from the police station or whatever. I think it's the police station. Yeah. Did that same test. And 71 people liked it. Said that it was laid back, sweet, very pleasant, uh, you know, very sexy. Uh, there were 10 people who disliked it. I said it was uh, too much too much like a generic cologne. I suspect these people uh, maybe have a couple of fragrances in their arsenal, but which may have uh, contributed to the, the, that saying, basically. Uh, they said that it kind of smelled like B.O., which is what some people say when they smell cardamom, especially on some skin. And um, uh, the third one was... Oh, man, I forgot. This one was... Um, it, it was kind of like a weird type of a scent, is what a couple of them also said. Uh, is that it didn't really go... Weak! Sorry, not weird. Weak. Weak was what they said. It wasn't uh, strong enough, basically, is what they were kind of driving at. So those were pretty much the comments for it. Rating-wise, I personally give this one a rating... I give it a rating of a 7 out of 10. Now, there are some caveats with that 7 out of 10. If you are a fragrance collector, like if you're a person who has a couple of fragrances, Lom, La Nuit de Lom, you know, Paco Rabanne's One Million, you might want to pass on this just because 
you know, it's not going to bring anything unique to your collection, and I think it's a little bit redundant in those terms. I mean, it's definitely a good fragrance in its own right. If you don't have any of those fragrances, definitely take a look at this and, you know, take a gander at this. You also may want to avoid it if you're not a fan of cardamom, because, again, that's what I really get out of this fragrance is cardamom. Um, not a cardamom bomb. It's definitely a different way of doing cardamom and those spices, but if you're not a fan of that note, you might want to look in another direction for this one. If you're looking for a fragrance that's going to last you, uh, as terms of being like a casual fragrance, be something that you can wear out, you know, wear in, wear out, uh, looking for something that can you can wear on a couple different occasions, definitely take a look at this. And the citrus note, the one unique thing that I do get from this is uh, that berry note really gives it, and I'm now attributing it to uh, blueberry, um, that berry note really gives this a unique Type of a citrus scent that I don't think is found in many other scents. It does, I mean, many other scents do have berry notes, but I do think that this one does that extremely well. I think the name Jay-Z being attached to it actually hurts it a little bit more than it helps it, just because it does come off as a celebrity scent, but it's not a bad celebrity scent. Um, so you might kind of, you might have a little bit of trouble getting over that stigma that it is a celebrity scent. Uh, but for its worth, I think it is one of the better fragrances. Um, I still think the best fragrance is probably Multi Platinum. I oh, know that's Saint John. Uh, forget that. That's Saint John I'm thinking of. But it is better than his other Jay Z scents, uh, like his Rock Aware scents and stuff like that. Definitely head and shoulders above those scents. But it still kind of comes, leaves a little something a little bit desired to me, and it won't probably definitely won't be in my collection. But it still is a pleasant scent, and it definitely is something that you want to try out. Okay. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free, leave a message down below, send me a note, do whatever you gotta do. Let me know your thoughts on Jay-Z Gold. Let me know what you think about the fragrance if you have tried it, all right? Thank you, take care of yourselves, and you have a great day.